This is part two. Look, you have been chosen from the get-go. You were brought here. You have to understand that you signed a sole contract to come here and make a change. That means on that contract that you signed, it's specified as you are going to be a chosen one. Meaning that you're going to be experiencing a lot of trials, a lot of tribulations. You're going to feel like a lot of hate, a lot of misdirection, a lot of confusion, a lot of just stuff that don't make any sense that you should not be rationalizing with your, I would say, your first brain. Just don't rationalize it. Like You can throw it back in your subconscious and give it some thought. That's the dream state. All right? So if you're going to ponder over in your sleep, hey, do that. But don't waste your conscious brain, your first brain on it. I'm talking about the brain that's talking right now. This is my conscious brain, right, right, right? Because I'm talking from my consciousness. You feel me? So don't waste your conscious brain on it. You just send them love. Instead, walk in the power. I'm just saying this for anybody that need, need, need to hear this, especially myself. I need to hear this. I, nobody's going to tell you this. Nobody is going to say, hey, it's not worth it. Why? Because you're dealing with people who are unchosen, who people who who were called to be chosen, but refuse to do the work. You have to do the work. You cannot be chosen unless you're doing the work. That is why no matter how much life tried to step on you and people tried to ostracize you and literally mentally break you. Guess what? It only mentally made you successful. That's it. It mentally made you who you are now. It mentally made you unbreakable. Alamantia. I'm getting meteor beyond our fabricated mind. Meaning it cannot be touched by anyone's hands, human hands, reptile hands, insect hands, many different hands. It can't be touched. It can't be tampered with. This is something even beyond, beyond uh, out of your control. I said beyond, but out of your control. This is something. Now, you can't turn this down. Yes, the one watching this video, you have to do the work. That is why you are being put in this space at this time. Did you notice like you tried to change your path or you tried to go on and do other things and you travel to other countries and leave this motherfucker, but something will always come up to where it would bring you back because you signed a solar contract to where you were supposed to be, you're supposed to commence your work at this time. So it would have happened. That's why God didn't make you a, a multi-billion millionaire already. I'm telling you, if you believe you're a multi-billionaire, trust and believe you're, you're a multi-billionaire. If you believe you're a multi-millionaire, you're a multi-millionaire. But that's why God didn't do it yet because God knows you would have never been seen again. God knows you would have disappeared. I'm talking about with the wind. I'm talking about earth, wind, and fire, you know, like that. You would have disappeared. You would have been gone with the wind. God knows you would have never, you would not have been nowhere to be seen. That is why Everything had to play out. God knows you. God knows your heart. You got to understand. You can't hide from the most high. God knows everything that you feel, you think. God knows it. So God knows you always congratulate these people. You always show love. You congratulate the people who was getting theirs first. While these people were like hating on you, laughing at you, disrespecting you. I'm talking final reasons to freaking make fun of you, ostracize, while these individuals were laughing and were happy on your, what's it called? On your trials and experiences through life that the Most High has put you through to turn you out to be, what's it called? A fine diamond, a uh, well, uh, just for you to metamorphosize, right? While God has put you through that, these people were literally laughing on your name. They were disrespecting your name. They are trying to justify and make it seem like you are not who you are because they know who you are. That is why you have been chosen. You have been chosen because you did it out of love. No matter how much these people hated you, no matter how much they wanted you to fail, you wanted them to succeed even more. You wanted them to succeed no matter how much they hated you, no matter how much they tried to turn against you. You wanted them to succeed still because you have a deeply rooted heart, meaning no hatred, no amount of tantrum can compromise that. So when you get upset, it's just a tantrum. You don't really mean it. You're not really doing it because then you would have done it. That's like the pedophiles that Chris Hansen, like, look, the only reason for me being here because I'm emotionally scarred. Motherfucker, if you was emotionally scarred, you wouldn't be here commencing actions towards taking the step in pedophilia. 
People always want to justify, bring around a renter, but let's just get straight to it. You're there. You're there. Meaning that you're still pedophiling. So it's not something that is a tantrum. It's something that is acted on. Whew. So it's not something that you just thought about. It's something that you thought, planned, and actually attempted to do. Damn. You see what I'm saying? God knows that you're not that. You just mirror back the fuck shit in this world because you know that fuck shit needs to be mirrored back their own fuck shit. You're not supposed to give these messed up individuals your loving, anointed energy. Where are they doing that at? Huh? You telling me garbage deserves fine dine, five course meal? Nah, you leave. You give them dumpsters what they need. You you take out the trash. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me just take out the trash real quick. Nah, I ain't gonna interrupt this message because you know what I'm, saying? I'm gonna take out the trash after though. All right? So look, you like nah? I'm not gonna do that. You like look? I'm gonna show love because you understand that you had a purpose. You you have a divinely path that's orchestrated by the Most High, and the Most High won't even let you deter from that path. The Most High is like, nah, you gonna stay on that path, I need you, ain't that many people doing the work, we got these pedophiles, we got these narcissists, we got too many people, hey, we got agents, we got insectoid agents, we got androdromian agents, we got arcturian agents, we got every kind of agent, so we need you, and you over here like, nah, man, I can't do it, nah, I gotta die, I gotta, because you like, nah, I can't play this game anymore, I can't keep playing with these narcissists. These narcissists, they literally created all these problems, right? They created everything, fabricating their own brain. And they want to look like you are the aggressor. They want to play victim. That is why you are chosen. Because you didn't, you did not dignify these ingrates with an emotional response. So now these emotional, so, so now these emotional narcissists are trying to come back and get a reaction out of you. Why? These more, look, they cut you off, they stomped you, they left you in the dirt, they laughed at you, and they felt some kind of way. Yet they trying to come back. Why? They are going to be trying to come back because you're about to be put into a whole new pedestal. Realize that. You're about to be put in the spotlight. And these narcissists, they either, at first they didn't want it. They tried to stop it. Now... They're trying to join because they understand it's your time. So congratulations. That is why you have been chosen. I'm telling you, you are about to see everything change. So just keep being patient. Shit, let's go take out the trash. Oh, shit. Um, well, uh. Look like the trash fell on the floor again, so guys have a great one.